resisting the temptation to pick on competitors. I will not do that. <laughs> um, but the, uh, it's, 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 still, it's, it's a testament to the Tesla engineering team uh, to be able to have made a car seven years ago that has still not been exceeded in range. Wolf of Dubai. Let's talk about Tesla competition. Now, Tesla competition, this is one of the biggest arguments that Tesla short sellers are using that Tesla has no chance in the upcoming years because the big car manufacturers like Volkswagen, Daimler or BMW or GM or, or, or will produce so many e vehicles that Tesla will have no sales at all. And afterwards, there's anyway no demand for Tesla cars, so let's roll. <laughs> And we will start quite slowly into the vlog with the newest competitions or the little bit far out uh, competition that are still in the concept phases. And then towards the end of the vlog, we are going to the more serious competitors. So let's uh, start with one of the newest kits on the blocks, which is Sony. Sony revealed the Vision S concept car and this was a surprise for so many people. People. They used the stage of the biggest consumer electronic show in Las Vegas that is uh, huge as a stage. It put the Mustang uh, Ford uh, version of an electric car, the Mach E totally out of business in terms of uh, marketing and excitement. Uh, this was obviously because of the stage, but also because of that now Sony, known for TV, photo cameras and the PlayStation 5 <laughs> is going now and playing the E car vehicle game. Now let's talk about a little bit about the car. From the shape from the outside it looks to me a little bit about like a Porsche but the more important part here plays on the inside. The inside of the vehicles is huge and loaded with the newest tech. Obviously a lot of screens. You have a very very interesting uh, sound system there as well because Sony obviously is good in speakers as well. And uh, there is two main things why Sony is going into the game because first of autonomous autonomous will be a software and uh, who can beat the algorithms of the best uh, autonomous car and then on the other side uh, once this is solved in the f uh, in the near future then you can imagine that the people just ride in it like a bus or like a train or like a plane and need to have one of the best entertainment system inside and there Sony is pretty strong so imagine you, your car drives you to work and you playing on your PlayStation 5 so very interesting what there will uh, come from Sony in the next couple of months. Let's talk about Dyson. Dyson is an innovator in the space of vacuum cleaners as well as hair dryers and uh, also fans. Now he is called the Edison of the UK and he developed super interesting products in this categories. But then it was uh, quite interesting. And this is an example what I what I wanted to tell you that it's not an easy game to build e vehicles. And therefore, this is just an example that they are uh, used a team of a huge team that worked on the e vehicle from Dyson and uh, billions were invested but then finally they said they will stop it because there's just too much competition already there it, it, it's too capital intensive so you need really 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 good investors or funds available and you have to use the funds as efficient as possible especially as Tesla is going so fast now you have to hit milestone after milestone otherwise you are very fast out of the business now I'm very curious if Tesla or any other e-car manufacturer will contact Dyson because in the end maybe Dyson had some really cool ideas they just didn't have the funds or the manpower to resolve them and I believe that there's some interesting tech under the hood that uh, Dyson already discovered or uh, worked on as experimental so I would be if I would be Tesla I would definitely say hey what what you guys had done in the last couple of years let us see us if it's interesting then maybe we would license and so on. 
So the next one is Byton and Byton is a Chinese manufacturer of electric vehicles founded just newly in 2017 and they have the model M-Bind which is their flagship that is costing around $50,000 to purchase and they have already 50,000 pre-orders for the car they all around the scene use the pre-order magic of Tesla and started to get pre-orders to finance or pre-finance all the development and build up of the manufacturing and they having this model the base range have 360 kilometers range and the higher car or the maximum range car is 435 kilometers and uh, this is significant less than a model 3 here so the deliveries will start mid 2020 and in Europe and 2020 if everything goes well so you have seen the first three either went out of business already or just having a concept or starting the production so let's move now to the next one which already uh, are a step further ahead and also I want to go after the second uh, scene I will go with you to the explanation why China is so great for car manufacturers in the electric field the next one is quite interesting because it is funded, not founded, funded by Jeff Bezos and Amazon just placed an order of 100,000 all electric delivery vans at Rivian because uh, you know it just makes sense if you invested in a company you want the company to do well and therefore you place a big order there and uh, actually we know that Amazon is going into the delivery space also uh, they are US based and the first deliveries of their cars should begin in the late 2020 therefore they are having a quite different approach they saw that the especially in the US market the 4x4 pickup delivery vans business can be quite uh, huge and therefore they want to concentrate on this niche which I think it's also smart to, to don't go directly into the mass volume market but also in a specific uh, range and then obviously with this backers as we said uh, you need the good funding to build up the manufacturing marketing and so on and so forth uh, research and development is huge in the battery business as well as the autonomous is driving so therefore I believe that Rivian is maybe a more serious competitor to Tesla but uh, to be honest the latest truck of Tesla got so much attention and if this thing goes out I believe that it will crush Rivian as well though I, I never believed and I still don't believe that the e vehicle market is a winner takes it all but surely a very good uh, e car product will have a huge market share because in the end it's like a smartphone you have like Apple and Samsung and then you know you have uh, smaller parts to the other manufacturers and it also depends on the software on the services that they offer and so on so supercharger and Network will be also very important and therefore we shall see how Rivian will do in the next couple of years now let's talk about NIO NIO is the Chinese Tesla this is how they called they are founded in 2014 so a little bit longer on the market and they are actually much further than any other competitor out there because they are actually producing and delivering vehicles now before going into how much they deliver and what as their uh, products let's take a look into the neo stock because the neo stock is a quite funny thing to watch especially the last couple of months so if we are looking into the last two years of neo we have seen since the ipo uh, they went to 11.6 us dollar per share then they went a little bit down 30 40 percent to where they stayed about a couple of months and then they jumped to a nine and then they lost hugely now from February 2019 till now they lost 63 percent of their value which is ridiculously now they are a little bit over 3.40 dollars per share and have a little slightly rebound in the last couple of weeks since about October 
till now they uh, went back and had a rebound of 126 percent so if you are picked up in october some shares of neo congratulations it's a great rebound and this is always what i'm talking if beat up stocks are there and you see future in them maybe it's an interesting thing to uh, to see and to rebound uh, kind of stuff like that now let's talk about their portfolio they maybe did a very smart move by going into the mass market but not producing a sedan but directly the SUV one of the most sold uh, car category in the whole world also in China they have their own stores very similar to Tesla and uh, let's dive into some numbers now so vehicles deliveries were 4799 Qs in Q3 which uh, included uh, 4200 of the model ES6 and 603 of the model ES8. Now it is a significantly increase of the 3553 vehicles that they delivered in the second quarter and actually the huge bump or the decrease in their stock were actually because of slowing down sales as well as they were so apparently mad about those numbers and everything that they cancel the investor call which is like a huge deal you know you don't cancel the investor call on your investors and therefore uh, they got really really uh, punished by their investor just uh, throwing out their stocks away however they made a, a whooping 242.5 million turnover in the third quarter and representing a 22.5 increase of the second quarter and and an increase of 21.5% of quarter over quarter of the uh, old year before. Now you can see that still, if this is the closest competitor in producing and delivering vehicles already in the biggest market, China, then Tesla is way ahead. They are making about $7 billion of revenue versus $250 revenue as of NIO. So you see there's a big, big difference and you see how big Tesla meanwhile is already. Now let's uh, talk about a little bit about the Chinese car manufacturers. Biden as well as NIO has two main importance. First, they are just plugging in in the one of the best uh, countries for manufacturing, obviously, with all the uh, plant facilities that are possible, that are scaling fast as well. On the other side, the biggest car, e-car market in the world, China, with all the subsidy that uh, the car manufacturers and customers of e-cars are getting. This is a very, very interesting point. And therefore, I think, you know, especially Neo uh, can go uh, after Tesla, but Tesla is just very far ahead. So let's jump into one last competitor that I think has also a big big uh, chance to follow Tesla very closely. So Volkswagen is a German car manufacturer the biggest in the world by the volumes of cars. Now they are putting a model out there it's called ID3. Now some people might say hey did they steal the 3 of the Model 3? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you know, let me know in the comments. If you like the video so far, make sure to thumb up and uh, subscribe because I'm vlogging every single day. Now, Volkswagen, I think they are a close competitor to Tesla because of two main things. Now, first of all, obviously they have a huge brand. And I think in the car industry or the future car industry, a brand will be a huge perception by clients. I want to identify with my vehicle. I uh, use it... Uh, more it makes me money maybe with the ride sharing it drives me I want to have a special connection with my car so I think branding will be even more important than it was with cars now I want to tap into the second biggest point for Volkswagen which is obviously the huge 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 size of this car manufacturer they have plants around the world they can uh, scale pretty fast they know how to build vehicles now there's still a difference between building e vehicles and uh, car internal combustion engine vehicles though i think the e vehicles are maybe slightly easier to manufacture because they're just less moving parts though there's uh, also volkswagen don't have so much uh, own technology for the electrical cars and actually 
currently they are having some delays in production so accordingly uh, they have some production issues as well as software issues with the car so hopefully they can you know uh, solve this quickly and move on and uh, the numbers are quite funny because apparently they are producing about 30 cars per day which they want to ramp up to 800 cars per day by spring 2020 so spring means maybe march april so 800 cars versus tesla in the giga china factory that was built within the last 10 months already can produce 3000 vehicles versus 800 pre vehicles volkswagen come on i mean why is Volkswagen and the German car industry so far behind? I mean, it's so unbelievable. And also uh, not only that they are behind, but they also don't have the technology. They have to build the, uh, and buy the batteries. They have to uh, buy the electric uh, engines until they have their own technology out there. So uh, quite interesting how it all will move out and further develop. And therefore let's jump into the conclusion of the video. So first, should Elon Musk be concerned about this competition or other competition, of course? I know you will mention it in the comments, but I didn't want to make a 60 minute video. There's also Ford, uh, Chevrolet, uh, Daimler, BMW, all this other competition, but I wanted just to go through a couple of types of competition and uh, I hope you liked it and therefore uh, give me a thumb up for this video. But the close question that we should ask if i say close maybe i should go more close so however the conclusion of the video should be that tesla shouldn't be so much worried about the competition i think in the first place it's very important to focus on its own product because tesla is so far ahead already so they have to keep up this distance by concentrating on their own product on the other hand side uh, think about uh, the very first vehicle now this was daimler producing the first vehicle and uh, how big was the market by then for that it was very very small maybe a couple of vehicles in his uh, village and the market for horses was pretty big now this changed over time because the people saw hey the car is actually the better vehicle to go around is much better than the horses and uh, finally the market changed and everybody driving a car now since many many decades and i think this will happen the same with electric cars out there and uh, there's a big market if there's more players and more options for the buyers out there that they can choose different brands and i believe it's not the market that the players that the that the uh, best wins it all it's still a market share business but it's growing and growing and growing and therefore there's a lot for tesla to conquer